you guys welcome to my brand new weekend league series i'm not too sure what i'm going to call it but uh, if you want to pause it in the first like second um you will see my team it's very similar to the guy i actually played who's got petit on loan in that midfield but as you can see in the first few minutes we don't get the best of clearance there with smalling and then he controls it straight into petit and then for some reason a bamyang was stood in front of the ball so essentially blocking off um i couldn't tackle him basically and it's really annoying when that happens because like I, I didn't go for the man, the ball's coming there, I would have tackled him perfectly cleanly. But we do reply there just before half time, a really nice through ball for Gareth Bale to put it into the back of the net. Then just after the second half he gets a second goal. He's one of my favourite players this year, Gareth Bale, I definitely would suggest him obviously for half a million, quite a bit. But as you can see here, only like a few minutes after us scoring, uh, we can see. But as you can see here, I've sped it up, we go from kickoff. And we make it through two. That is one of the most frustrating things on this game. Either doing it on an attack, especially when it, it, it comes against you, where they literally go straight from kickoff, especially at the start of the game in the first four minutes, like he did in the game. And uh, yeah, it's nine shots for us, 56% possession, quite happy. Great way to start off the weekend league, to be fairly honest. And uh, hopefully we can continue with that kind of form. So we go into our second game. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording um, the first goal, so we are 1 0 up currently. We do have the opportunity to make it 2, but he saved the penalty and uh, we don't have that opportunity to double the lead. But we go into the second half of the game here. The last 10 minutes, he brings on Moose, he brings on Rashford. Nothing's going to happen, it's alright, we'll just hold off for the last 10 minutes. Cliche, nice bit of a step over action. Cuts inside, eventually gets it into Moose. And then just scores that. Like he stood still, he managed to get so much power and so much precision. And it goes all the way to penalties. I'm actually going to speed up these penalties as that's this episode will be like 40 minutes long. But uh, yeah, we get 1-1 uh, one, one there. He does save the penalty again. I'm not too sure why I went to that side, to be fairly honest. But he was doing a bit of a weird technique with his penalties, if you're actually watching him. The way he runs up to him was really difficult to guess where the players were going. Uh, we do make it 3-3 uh, three, three there. We do need to save a penalty. And unfortunately, because of his technique, it's actually quite difficult. And again, I went to that left-hand side. And we did unfortunately lose that game. So into the next one then, straight from kickoff. As you can see here again, he just passes the ball about a bit. Quite nice passing to be fairly honest. But first five minutes, bang, back of the net. First shot, first goal. It's really frustrating when that does happen. It's just like something I can't do and a lot of people can't do to be honest. Just prevent that first goal from going in. Sometimes I just think why not just take him out and uh, get the yellow card and prevent the goal. But in the 57th minute here, Martial on that right hand side does put it into the top left hand corner. Martial's really inconsistent on uh, foot champions. Some games he'll score like loads of goals and then the next game he'll do absolutely nothing. But as you can see here again, straight from kickoff, goes through on goal and scores. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's me just being crap at the game. But as you can see there, I had nine shots. He had three shots and uh, he won 2-1. A little bit frustrating. Into the next game then. I'm only going to be showing you a few games of the weekend. I'm not going to show you all 40, but uh, some of the more interesting ones. That shot there from Martial is really frustrating because if he shot properly, Farman wouldn't save that. But because he like P-rolled it, it uh, was quite difficult to actually save. A really nice goal there. Chip through ball for Martial to control and volley into the back of the net. Then in the 48th minute here, Emre Chan passing the ball off to Martial with a cross shot goal. They're just incredible this year, like stupidly good. If you get the angle and you get the power, they're going to go in every time. And as you can see there again, Martial finishing off his hat-trick. As I said, really inconsistent. Like, he'll score a hat-trick in this game. And then he might not score for the next, like, I don't know, two or three games. But this goal here was like... It's Hector Bellerin, for starters. And it's his screen card. So it's exactly the same as his regular card, but with, like, one more shooting. But he pulls off an absolute worldie there. Uh, but we do hold off and uh, win that game 3-2. Then we go into this next game. It's, it's not exactly the toughest team in the world. He had like a 20k team, if that. He does score there with Gar uh, Harry Kane. Then he gets another goal with Harry Kane. Then in the 90th minute, Farman does uh, head later on. We do have an opportunity to equalise. But the game just wouldn't let me grab the ball. I was literally trying to get that straight away. Uh, we did go on all that attack. And unfortunately, on the last attack, he does sweaty it across. Makes it 3-1. And I want to see... Um, I want to show you guys what the match stats are. He had two shots on target. And won the game. We had 19 shots, 8 on target, and we lost the game. Just things like that frustrate the like, absolute life out of me. It's just so frustrating. I put in 20 tackles, only one foul. He put in 13 and uh, fouled five times. So it's just it's crazy how annoying this game is for the player that is the more dominant. So we go into this next game. I'll leave it as the last game I'm going to be showing you. Against this essentially full Man United team with Courtois and goal. 
and the aid's just come back. I don't know why Emery Chan was even there. And it deflects, as you can see, I do slow it down. It deflects off the inside of his leg, pushes it, pushes it past Farman, and uh, makes it 1 0. Then we do score an absolute worldie there with um, Benzema to make it 1 0. Then it goes all the way to penalties. Now, I just, I'm glad that they've actually kind of, I haven't actually had a game where the penalty bar isn't there, so that's good to see. Um, so it's helpful in terms of, I'm doing a lot better in terms of getting them actually on target. Um, but it's weird, like some people's techniques, like they're just guaranteed to score penalties and there's nothing you can do about it. So we go into the li literally dying stages of this penalty shootout. And there we go, we win it with Gareth Bale. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this quickish little video, under 10 minutes. I feel like I don't want to show you too much of the action in terms of what happened in the 40 games because you'd be there all week. Maybe you, was, would, maybe you would want to see that, but I'd have to break it down into like three maybe even four videos um so this way just showing you the few of the highlights like the amount of goals that i can see just straight from kickoff it's really frustrating um and i want to know if you guys have that same problem as well so hopefully you guys did enjoy this little like i don't know teaser episode like in terms of what i might do in the future with this um yeah just leave some uh, comments down below and anything else you want to see and uh, smash the like button and see you soon bye